Welcome to another episode of Mommy Speaks Canto and Mandel. Mommy Guang Guang Dong Hua He Pu Tong Hua. Where you learn how to casually chat in Canto and Mandel for health, medical, and other matters. These videos reinforce the lessons from the podcast, Cantonese and Mandarin for medical matters and more. If you want to listen to the podcast, the links are in the information area below. Before we jump back into the dialogue, the last few lines of the dialogue, Let's look at the last few lines from the previous video. What do you think? Of course I knew what you were going to say. You know, I really can't stand your stupid dementia. Now, why would anyone say dementia is stupid? If you have an answer, maybe share it in the comments area. If you have no clue, you're off the hook. You don't have to answer because you'll soon have an inkling to one answer as to why when you hear the rest of the conversation. What we were talking about, we already talked about several times already, not too long ago. What did we talk about? I need to go home now. 我又发OK了。我要回家了。The problem isn't so much the dementia patient. Family and friends have a hard time coming to terms with this disease. It's totally understandable for people to want their loved ones to be cured of this thing, or at least to stop the dementia from progressing. Even seasoned caregivers will have lapses in memory. They'll forget the beast that dementia is and get annoyed if whoever they're caring for decides to have immersive experiences with their meals, sinking their fingers willy-nilly into breakfast. Such things may compel the caregiver to exclaim, Oh my god, what are you doing? Or who refuses, resists, or reacts defensively, during the daily ritual of dental hygiene. Let's say. It's these kinds of things that may compel the caregiver to exclaim. Come on, let me brush your teeth. Resistance is futile. Just embrace every moment with the dementia patient and go with the flow. So let's go back to the dialogue and look at the first line. What we were talking about, we already talked about several times already, not too long ago. If you feel there are some redundancies of the wording in this sentence, that's because it highlights the frustration of the speaker. After all, our furry friend, or should I say friends, previously had to say the same thing multiple times, and so this sentence, with its similar word meanings and the same word repetitions, underscore the frustration that some people may get when dealing with a dementia patient. The new words here are ngam ngam, gang gang, meaning just now. 
This repetition of the words ngam in ngam ngam and kang in kang kang, both words meaning just now individually and in their respective doubled compound words, is a rhetorical device used for emphasis, literally doubling the impact of the just now meaning. This makes sense because what the speaker is essentially saying is that the current conversation that's taking place right now is the same conversation with the same person yet again, a conversation that took place in a not too distant past, basically a just now split here second ago, past. Got that? It's a conversation that took place not a day ago or so, not a couple of hours ago, not some minutes ago. It was just now, just now they had the same exact conversation already. Just now. It's like talking in all caps. This rhetorical device is not unique to Chinese. You hear it in other languages, like in English, you might hear, Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Or, now, now, no need to get all persnickety about anything. Or, no, no, that's not my intention. Or, in Espanol, Lo que se dice, doro, doro, no tengo. Because isn't it always the case that you finally make an appointment to see the doctor, and the moment the doctor walks in, then poof, you're right as rain. No more pain. What pain? Right? Or in Korean, Nanun tun tun hara. When you want to reassure someone, you're right as rain. Strong, healthy. Or in Japanese, Watashi wa hini hini tsuyoku naru. So you can assure people that day by day, you're getting better, and so on. The next new set of words are Moge noi chen bujio. That means not long ago, and Gei chi ji ci, meaning several times. Going back to Moge noi chen bujio, that means not long ago, or not too long ago, which is similar to just now, the meaning of ngam ngam, gang gang, yeah? So given that, couldn't we just have repeated either of the compound words twice in the sentence to get ngam ngam gong di ye, wo de ngam ngam yi gin gong zhe gei qi la. Gang gang shuo de hua, wo men gang gang yi jin shuo de ji ci la. Or, mo gei noi gong di ye, yeah, these are slightly different ways to say pretty much the same thing, but I don't know. Don't you think the doubling up of ngam ngam and gang gang creates enough repetitive verbiage already? It seems less abrasive to the ear to hear ngam ngam gong di ye. Instead of being overwhelmed by the rabbit hole of repetitiveness that is a part of dementia, save your sanity. Embrace dementia in all of its absurdities. Revel in its rollicking roller coaster ride. Jeep sao sa ji jing chun bo ge fong mao. Tou jai ke ge ging him chi ge guo san che. Jie shuo shi zhi zhang quan bu de huang miao. Tou jai ta de jing xian ci ji guo san che. And you know how I sometimes like to make sense in certain things. So let's go back to Moge Noi, Chen Bu Jiu, and dissect them. Let's start with the canto Moge Noi. The first component is a canto only character. Mo means to not have, like to not have a home, being homeless. Mo Nga Jie Tao. 
literally mo don't have nga tile earthenware you know most of the homes in china back in the day and many even to this day have tile roofs anyways back to mo nga jie tao jie is to cover and finally tao is head so to not have mo tiles nga to cover jie head tao mo nga jie tao is to be homeless I earlier said mo is a canto only term but that's kind of neither here nor there cuz the mando equivalent to mo nga jie tao is made up of completely different words wu jia ke gui where wu means no jia home ke can gui return to so no home can return that is no home one can return to leads us right back to homelessness wu jia ke gui we've strayed a bit talking about mo from mo ge noi let's rein all this back in and look at the second character component of mo ge noi the ge that means how much how many several some a few like i wonder how many steps are in this staircase mji lao tai yao ge do kap the ge do in this sentence is a canto expression for how many in mando the sentence would be bu zhi dao lou ti you duo shao tai jie duo shao being the mando equivalent to canto's ge do aside from its part in the canto compound word ge do canto's ge and its mando equivalent ji can usually be used in the same way like for its meaning of a few as in yao di ye you lin zap ge qi xin nang gao xing gong you xie dong xi bi xu lian qi ji ce cai nang cheng gong there are some things you need to practice a few times before you can get it right and finally mo ge noise last character component noi that in this context has the canto only meaning of long period of time that you'll hear in the common greeting long time no see hou noi mo gin wo mando uses another character that in this context has the same long period of time meaning jiu in hao jiu bu jian ba hou noi mo gin wo hao jiu bu jian ba For an example of Canto and Mando sharing the same meaning for the same Chinese character of noi, nai, we'll use its meanings of capable of enduring, able to tolerate, patient, as in the sentence, she's really patient. In keeping with the repetitiveness of the dialogue's repeated words and repetitious meanings, let's do a quick replay, a recap of what we've learned so far. Ngam ngam gong di ye. Wo de mo gei noi yi jing gong zuo gei qi le. Gang gang shuo de hua, wo men qian bu jiu yi jing shuo le ji ci le. What we were talking about We already talked about several times already, not too long ago. So guess what the response to that is? What did we talk about? What did Gong Mi ya? We were talking about what? That's pretty straightforward, based on all words we've learned before, and it elicits the last line of the dialogue. I need to go home now. Will you find okay la? Since we don't have that many lines to look at here, let's take a brief foray into Chinese characters and look at the Canto and Mandel versions of home. Okay, 家 
Now, the compound word OK is a purely Canto construct, where OK, the Mando enunciation, is Wu, in and of itself means house, along with its other meanings of room, building, shelter, and strangely, OK, Wu has the radical component. The root component of characters you use to look up the character in Chinese dictionaries. Plus, the radical may speak to the meaning of the character or its enunciation. Or, because of how characters have been evolving, the radical may mean nothing. In any case, ok, wu has the radical component of si, shi, that means corpse. Although colloquially, you'll hear "sei si, si shi, or si tai, shi ti, when you want to refer to a corpse. So, aside from its radical, the other character component of ok wu is ji zhi, meaning to, to arrive, reach, until, very. So what? A house is a place that you reach or arrive at, the meaning of ji zhi, part. So it's the place that you reach as the destination to expire, become a corpse, the si shi part. Some elderly have said they don't want to go to assisted living or nursing homes because they just see those as places where you go to wait and die. I'm not going to no assisted living or nursing home. Then there's lots of people who say they want to die in their sleep, that that's the best way to go. And of course, when people die in their sleep, it's usually in their homes, isn't it? I guess dying in bed is viewed as a peaceful experience and that the bed is in the home where you're surrounded by your loved ones. Now whether that's the case or not, the idea is that if you make your departure, it might as well be done peacefully in the company of family. Don't know if that had anything to do with the English word deathbed. There's even Chinese proverbs about the deathbed, like the words of a person on the deathbed always comes from the heart. Makes you think that maybe the people who thought up the character for Ok Wu may have had these ideas in mind when they put all the pieces of this character together. Since Ok Wu's components imply until death, well, until corpse, that's pretty much like uh, splitting hairs here. The ji zhi and si shi respective meanings. I can assure you I'm no Chinese language scholar, so if you know a more academic reasoning behind this word's makeup, its reason for being, go ahead and share that in the comments. And don't forget, we still have the second character of OK, the K part, which means to stand. Its radical component is Yan, Zhen, person, people. And the remaining component is Ji, Zhi, which means to stop, halt, desist, detain, prohibit. But usually found in compound words like Fang Ji, that means prevent. Ting ji, ting zhi, that means stop, but usually with a connotation of suspending, halting, stopping. Something like if you were a passenger in a car, and like in TV dramas or movies, the car driver keeps on looking at you instead of the road while chatting with you, but you, on the other hand, we're multitasking and keeping an eye out on road conditions, 
Notice the person intently talking on a cell phone while crossing the street in front of the car you're riding in. So you scream, Ting Che! Ting Che! Stop the car! Or you've moved somewhere that has a good public transportation system, so you've basically stopped driving to work. And we're talking pre COVID 19 conditions here. Not only that, You've decided to go all out and take a stance on minimizing your fossil fuel footprint. So you could say, I've stopped driving. So this is a different flavor of stop, a less action driven verb form of the stop compared to, stop the car. So, ting, ting is, for the lack of a better way of saying it, a more active and dynamic verb, whereas ting ji, ting zhi, is more of an action verb that implies a resulting status of having stopped something. To pound this in, let me give you one more example differentiating ting, ting, and ting ji, ting zhi. You're coming back early from a business trip, and the moment you open the door, you realize your SO is at home cavorting with someone, someone you've suspected all along, who is pounding away at your baby grand, but once realizing you're in the house, the music stops. The guilty two literally stopped in their tracks. Since you've been suspecting this all along, you don't miss a beat. You say, Mo ting gai jok tan kam na? Don't stop. Keep on playing the piano. Yes, I know, I probably watch too much TV drama, but let's move along. Now, if you said something along the lines of, That would mean, I stopped playing the piano in the sense that I no longer play the piano. So the, as well as the previous car scenario, ting che, ting che, where ting, ting, is what I described as an active and dynamic verb, in these two cases used in a command to stop or don't stop something. Mo ting a, bie ting ba, don't stop. Ting che, ting che, stop the car. Whereas for ting ji, Ting zhi, used in Wo ting ji zha qie le Wo ting zhi kai che le And Wo ting ji tan kam le Wo ting zhi tan qin le Is more of a pronouncement of a state of being After having stopped something Wo ting ji tan kam le Wo ting zhi tan qin le That would mean I stopped playing the piano I hope that makes sense, and if not, write your questions or thoughts in the comments area. Let's stop this line of trajectory and look at more examples of compound words for the non-radical component of K from OK, and that's the G jir, that means to stop, halt, desist, detain, prohibit part. Kudos to you, by the way, if you're able to keep up with all this. In any case, we have G tong. Zhi tong, to stop pain. Ji cut, zhi ke, to stop coughing. Ji hu, zhi xue, to stop bleeding. Ji han, zhi yang, to stop itching. You get that ji zhi emphatically means to stop something. Which for me brings to mind someone stopped standing at attention and as a result leaves the compound word okay, a home as a safe haven that you can take refuge in until all your days come to a halt. So you can just as well say that the Okay, the compound word okay could mean a home is a home as long as it's standing. 
Note that while the mando jia is also used in Canto as ga, meaning home or family, so that your family members could either be ga so, jia shu, or ga yan, jia ren, or you've been there, right? In restaurants where kids are running willy nilly in the restaurant pre COVID 19, mind you. So that you might be thinking, Mo ga gao, mei yo jia jiao, a compound word that literally means no family teaching. Its actual meaning, no manners. Now, before any parents get all up in arms about this, just look at it from the other side of the table. The wait staff may be carrying plates of sizzling hot entrees, ti ban choy, tie ban cai. Hot soups, tong, tang, boiling hot water, guan shui, guan shui. Now you don't want your little bundle of joys to have close encounters with any of that, right? Well, enough of family hijinks. In the context of the dialogue, the colloquial way of talking about home is not ga; it's okay. The mando jia. Is easy, especially for those of you where intro Chinese is ancient history for you. But for others, the home ga jia is where the pig is. Or did you not know that? That's what the Chinese character is made up of: the pig character, albeit the classical Chinese character shi, not the current word for pig used in colloquial speech and in written form. Ju. So the old Chinese classical character for pig, sure, that's placed under jia's radical component that in this case supports jia's meaning, and that is the roof radical mian. After all, a home is a roof over your head, right? Think about the old China of agrarian life, where pigs to a farm, or rather pigs under a roof. Is like I don't know, Zoom masks or social distancing is to the COVID-19 pandemic. But just know, ga jia is versatile and is also used to denote specialist, like being an expert in something, having expertise in something. So a musician is known as yam ngao ga, yin yue jia, photographer. Sitienga, shiyengjia, psychologist, samleihokga, xinishuejia, geriatrician, loninyihokjunga, laonianyishuejia, and so on. Enough said. Let's recap the whole dialogue. 我顶唔顺啊！我腰痛，痛到不得了啊！咁咪去見醫生咯，醫咩生啊？自從呢個 Covid 1 9 n e 大流行開始，我到而家一直都冇法子同我醫生聯絡。我試過打電話，但係我淨係遇到電話聯繫網，然後伯伯喺度聽乏味嘅等待音樂，卒之得個吉，冇人聽電話。不過冇所謂，冇所謂。还掂佢净系识得开啲冇鬼用药。嘿、hey, ，你点知道我就系想讲呢啲啊？你认为呢？我当然知道你想讲咩嘢啦。你知道吗？我真系顶唔顺你呢个戆居失智症。啱啱讲啲嘢，我哋冇几耐已经讲咗几次啦。我哋讲咩啊？我要翻屋企啦！我受不了了，我腰痛，痛到不得了呀！那去看医生吧。医什么生呀？自从这个 COVID-19 大流行开始，我到现在都无法跟我医生联络。我试过打电话，但是我只是遇到电话联系网。然后
白白的听，乏味的等待音乐。到头来一场空，没有人接电话。不过无所谓，无所谓，反正他只会开一些乱七八糟药。嘿，你怎么知道？我就是想说这些呀。你觉得呢？我当然知道你想说什么呀。你知道吗？我真受不了你这个愚蠢失智症。刚刚说的话，我们前不久已经说了几次了。我们说什么呀？我要回家了。I want to thank Spencer Keaton Cunningham for giving me permission to use the still image and video that shows his mural taken from my car back in January 2020 in the alleyway of Berwick Place in San Francisco. I should have driven slower so that you can better see the details of the mural, because what you should be able to see. Is a wall that tells a graphic story of the struggles of the native community, exploited, stripped of their lands, homes, assets, identity, and a part of their struggles is also something the city where this mural resides is grappling with. Can you say gentrification? 三喜发，声势化